Hello and welcome to the session on mobile automation with Presentis Tosca. I'm Marcus, and today I will show you how to configure your PC to build your first test cases with Android emulators and real devices. To get started, we will need to download and install two additional components. The first one is Android Studio, which is available at developer.android.com slash studio. Android Studio is the developer environment for Android provided by Google for free. It is a necessary component for the Tricentis Tosca mobile engine, and we will also need it to create our virtual devices. The second component we need is Java Runtime Environment. It's available at java.com slash download and also available for free. Once you have downloaded and installed both components, we need to set the Android home variable. To do this, open the control panel, go to system and security, go to system and advanced system settings. Here, go to environment variables and if it hasn't been set already, add the Android home variable by clicking on new. The variable itself will point to the Android SDK folder. After you're done with this, we can create our Android virtual devices. To do so, open up Android Studio. In Android Studio, open up the search box by pressing the keys Ctrl, Shift and A and search for AVD Manager. AVD Manager is the Android Virtual Device Manager and this is where all our virtual devices live. Please refer to the Android documentation on how to create Android virtual devices. Here I have already created a Pixel 2 emulator using Android 9.0. Click on the play button to launch your emulator. Now I have launched my emulator and I also connected a real device to this PC. For mobile automation in Tracentis Tosca, we need the device IDs of the emulator and the real device. To do so, open up an Explorer window and go to the Android Home directory. Here, under Platform Tools, you will find the ADB executable. ADB stands for Android Device Bridge and is used to communicate between the PC and the Android devices. In order to get the device IDs, we will need to launch this executable in the command prompt with an additional parameter. To do so, open the command prompt, just drag and drop the executable into the window and run the executable with the parameter devices. You can see the ID of my real device that is attached physically to the computer. Just make sure that you enable USB debugging on the device itself. And I have my emulator that we just launched from the Android Virtual Device Manager. These are the necessary steps to prepare your PC for mobile automation with Crescentis Tosca. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.